Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of oh, Mixed Mirrors. Oh, Poppy's just coming to say hello. Hello Poppy's. Yeah, Poppy's. Um, yeah, hi everybody. Um, today is Saturday. Got my little Riley boy here today. Hi. Um, he's uh, now finished school. The cams will go for a burn because the dog's underneath it. Poppy said I'll walk around, didn't she? She can't hear anything so I can't, can't tell her to move. Um, so, what are we doing today, Riley? A we've got a parcel to do, yeah, and um, we've got to fix a, not fix a lawnmower, but um, I picked a lawnmower up yesterday. It's a Atco Admiral um, with a rear roller, that there, the green one, can you see it? The little one, just out there? Yeah. Just there. Uh, I picked it up yesterday for, I think I paid 20 quid for it. It's all running, however, it just wants a good clean up, possibly a new pull cord, a service, and maybe a new throttle cable um, put on it, something like that. But. I just thought for a little tiny lawnmower with a rear roller, um, they tend to sell quite well. Um, everyone likes a stripy garden, so um, I thought I'd pick it up. It was only up the road from me, so I thought I'd take that. Um, so we'll get that in in a middle, little while. I've got another lawnmower on the bench at the minute, which is massive, um, which I'm currently working on doing a video on separately, but I'm waiting on parts for that to come in, so that's going to have to be moved out until um, parts come in for that. So I've got a parcel. Because, guess what? Guess what? What? Daddy entered a competition what? Um, the other day on a channel called uh, Colin Ketley. What's that? And he does lawn mowers, he does um, ride on mowers, he does uh, walking around looking at deserted I buildings. Know. Yeah. Why we'll get to that in two seconds, buddy boy. Yeah, he does uh, pretty much covers all bases. We had a little competition running, and all we had to do was uh, enter in what order did he purchase the ride on mowers he's got. And he only had two people actually enter the competition or, or correct answers, and there wasn't a lot of people in it. And the, the prize is here, and I actually won it. So um, thank you very much, Colin. So these are a, pro a proper pair of, um, okay. hang on two seconds, wire cutters. And they're made by Amtec. And they do, um, they strip wire, they crimp, we'll and they do everything. I'm not actually fully, um, yeah, poor name. I'm not actually fully um, knowledgeable in these sort of cutters. Um, I don't have a pair. The only pair I have stripper wise are probably in here. And these are going back a few years. And that's the only pair I've got which are fully adjustable, which you do strip the wires off. But these are actual crimping ones as well, so they're, they're super cool. Um, got no idea how much they cost, um, but for a little competition that I entered, it took me two minutes to enter it, and yeah, I was a winner. So, thank you very much, Colin. Super chuff. They now belong in my toolbox. Colin. Yeah, that was thank you, Colin. You're the best hero ever. So, Riley Boy is super chuff. So, we've got another little tool to go in the old toolbox. So, I've got a drink. You got a drink? What are you having, fruit shoot or orange? Fruit shoot. There you go. What's that? What's yeah. One? yeah. What's that? What's what's say? That's a sticker from Nate. Go karts, gone fishing sticker. Big one, big one. Yeah. Big one. Quite a few now, haven't we? Okay. Yeah, I've got some stickers actually from go karts, gone fishing over there, which we need to send out to uh, Roy and Jacko. So I'll do that this week. Give me an open for you. Don't squeeze it, because I'll get, I'll get a face full of it. There you go. And don't use your teeth, because you've got wobbly teeth in a minute. There you go. I'll have a sip of my one as well. I've got my Smith McGuinness Syndrome mug on. Um, two seconds, people, because uh, Nana's just turned up and she wants to say something. What's up, Nana? Do we need four freezers? Do we need? Four freezers. Four freezers? Freezers. Freezes? Oh, borders. Get whatever you like, Mum. It's your bedroom. You get what you like, and I'll put it up for you later on. Mum, love you. That's it. That's Nana. I've just done her, done her, um, come sit down, buddy. Just done her bedroom for her. Yep. And, um, have a seat. <laughs> and, um, yeah, come here. And, um, she, was want, she wants a border to put around her room, so, um, I've got to do that a bit later on my looks of it. That's cool, but I don't mind. So, yeah, I'll pick up my old coffee. This is a coffee I sent over from, um, from Chris. I'm still getting through that. Cheers, Riley Boy. That's a nice coffee, it is. So that's that. So we're gonna get on and do this Admiral today. It won't take very long, but I need to get the big lawnmower off the um, bench. This one here, the big yellow one. 
off the bench and uh, to get the Admiral in. Here comes Poppy again. Um, here she comes, she's on her way up, bless her little heart, her little legs are going. She's 15, which is 105 years old Ow. for a dog. She's on her way, old back, the old back legs are going, so. Heard my it won't be long before she'll be, uh, she'll be out, out the way and gone, I'm afraid. We should miss her dearly, but um, that's sort of what's going to happen, I suppose. Yeah, she's not very well at all. It will. So, um, let's get on and do the Admiral, and then um, we get that one out and serviced up and all the rest of it, try and get it sold. I'm going to get a quick jet wash off first, just so that I can um, get rid of all the dirt and what have you on top and underneath, and then we go from there. So, without further ado, yeah, you do, let's get down, yeah. let's get dirty. That's Poppy. <laughs> let's do that again. So, without further ado, let's yeah, get down, do. let's yeah, get dirty, do. let's do it. Yeah, do let's it. go sort out this Atco Admiral. <laughs> Right, here it is. Um, the Atco Admiral with a rear roller, height adjustment on the back as well. The pull cord is very, very frayed and looks like it's about to snap at any minute. Briggs and Stratton 3.5 Quantum on top. All the height adjustment all works as it should do. But the throttle um, is a bit poor. It'll go up if you force it. It'll go up somewhere. Oh, it did. There it goes. Um, it draws back and then it won't, it won't go back again, so the cable's flexing, I can feel it. Flexing somewhere here and up here. So I'm, I might just put a new piece of wire through that, clean it through, and that'll work perfectly then. I'm gonna spray all this up as well, and then um, we'll go from there. So I'll get a quick jet wash off. I don't know what it looks like underneath. Yeah, not too bad, once are clean. So let me just get a quick jet wash off and I'll come back. Right, and that's it, all now hosed off inside, uh, underneath, and in the grass box as well, all done. I can see the filter looks absolutely shocking at the moment. I'll just try and fire it up, see what we get. It did start, like started it yesterday. So it needs a new pull cord, new air filter, new spark plug, all change, all that sort of good stuff. A good tide off, good polish off. And I've got some um, black spray coming. I'm going to spray paint, sand down the pull cord assembly, all that sort of good stuff. Let's get it in the shed, um, get it dried off, and then uh, we can get to work on it. Okay, I do need to get some more lights in here. Um, now it's cooled down a touch. I might put the other light back up, but uh, you have to bear with the bad lighting for now. It was getting too hot in here, having four lots of lights running. And we had that hot spell coming. So this isn't a drive a drive version. However, it is all set up if you wanted to. It does actually have a, a side pulley put on it. Uh, this is a push version. So I want to check the oil first, because the engine's just been run up. So the oil be nice and thin. And it all looks relatively gray. And it is, oh, I took a bad reading then. I'll try and get a better reading if I can. Scrape the side of a funnel. It's showing about, about three quarters full and the oil isn't too shocking. It's in a lot worse. So I'll have you all out of it first before we progress. Just gonna use my trusty old um, oil extractor. Do that. These are brilliant. And they're about, I think they're about 20 quid give or take off of Amazon. You can buy these for. And that just sucks you all up. About four or five pumps and away it goes. So I'll do that and I'll come back to you. Well that's draining away, it's still going. So I'm just gonna remove this pull cord assembly cover. And I'm gonna put all my bits in that grass bag if I don't lose them. This pull cord is particularly shot, 
So I need to uh, do something with that first. It's not much cop, so I'm just gonna cut the top of it off up by the pull cord. That can go in there. I'll tie a knot in the end of that so I don't lose it. I was lucky it never went all the way in then. And then I want, uh, I think these are eight or 10 mils. So now that engine is completely empty of oil, I'll remove the um, pull cord. Oh my word. Either I'm getting old or I'm getting old. One or the other. One there, one there, one there. <clears throat> I like the old Quantum engines, to be fair. I think they're a nice sort of robust engine. Quite reliable. Straightforward to work on, I like the carburetors. For an older style engine, they are they, they certainly there's still quite a few about, which is nice to see. Because we don't they don't all make it. We can't save them all, right? Fair along those pliers. And I want a magnet train. I've got about four projects on my go at the minute, so I need to be a bit mindful what what where I'm putting my parts. Oh, my phone ring. Two seconds. Let's see who that is. Oh, it's Mrs. P. Mrs. P, she's in being cute, looking for borders. So there should be one more um, nut down here. Is it raining again? It's absolutely lashing down the rain again. My word, what's going on with this world? Right, and with this one here, I don't think you've got to take it all the way off. You can just literally just tip that back, undo it and tip it back, I believe. Although saying that the fuel pipe is particularly short. So it may have to come off. Let me get my forceps in there. Clamp that fuel off. Yeah, it's quite brittle back too, actually. That may be replaced, possibly. But we'll look into that in a bit. Let's have the air filter out. A bit of a change of direction, I know, but uh, it's what it is. Let's check this air filter out. Should come off now. There it goes. Oh, it's not too shocking. I've seen a lot worse, but it's bad. It's, it's going for it, going in the bin either way. And that wants to clean off inside as well. Uh, lots of dirt and grime in the bottom, mud and stuff in there. So that's not much cop. Let's remove this um, top cover as well. Take that off at a bin of eight mil. that cover will be sprayed black. I've got some spray, uh, some matte black coming today, I think. So that will be dressed up looking nice and smart. Top of the carburetor looks okay. Governor springs are all in place, happy with that. Just now I want to take off the, um, the fuel line off of a carburetor, if it let me. Good. Bit of jiggery pokery, yeah, it's going to come. Yeah, that's good. Right, that's come off now. And then I can undo that one bolt, that last bolt at the front here, which I think was a ten, wasn't it? Well, everybody rings at once. That was my mum on the phone. We're going outside for a bit of a party. Who's that? Um, one of me, um, one of my cousins is moving, emigrating, so we're going out for a bit of a party tonight. Okay. That'd be cool. Yes, mate? What are you talking? I'm talking to the camera so that people can understand what I'm talking about. It's like my ratchet. Then. It was a YouTube. Yeah. So I've just taken off the, um, I think it's four bolts on these. One there. 
one over here. I've got four bolts there to do. And then I've got one up the top here, which will remove the dipstick holder as well. It's quite a fact to get to these pull cords on these quantums, but as I say, they are a good engine, so I'm not going to knock it. And they're well built, you know. So that's that one. Um, there should be one up here, I think there's an 8mm on there. I think they changed the design of it to an 8mm. Socket set, I have to move that because Riley Ball is going through it. I'm going to try and help. God, everything on here is absolutely solid. I'll do my uh, socket set, my uh, ratchet. That was underneath the mower. That one comes off. So it's four tens and an eight on there. That should lift up, turn it round. In fact, there's no oil in there, so that can go in the, in the grass box. That should all now lift up. There should be nothing holding that on. And that gives you the pull cord. So we'll do the pull cord in a minute. Lots of grass in here, bits and pieces. Uh, that almost blowing off. All work so that will be clean off in a minute let's get on and do the pull cord right pull cord time um you've probably seen loads of this done before um all we do is you take the old one out put the new one in and go from there i saw a video the other day i think it was mower man he asked how long a pull cord should be and all i say is for any mower that goes from the pull cord up to the top of the arm is roughly seven foot and i'm six foot two and that's roughly about seven and a half feet on there that's got so yeah, i was about right it's about seven feet that's what i do so i'm just going to snip that off first i want just want to loosely let that go so that i release the tension out of it that's it there and grab my new pull cord now I've got some new pull cord here. I'm hoping it's going to be the right size. I bought 4.5 mil, and it looks a little bit long to me, a little bit wide. But I'm hoping it's going to be fine. The time it stretches in there, I'm hoping it's going to be fine. Um, so I use 4.5, but I might, I might drop it down to four at some point. So I want about seven feet, which is going to be from the floor roughly to as far as I can reach, give or take seven and a half feet. That's going to be about there. So snip that off, and I want to burn the ends of that off. So this looks a little bit a little bit thick. I have got some red stuff, but that's too thin. So I'm hoping this will be fine. My concern is is that it won't all go into a pull cord assembly. I think four mil will be perfect for this. So that's a new pull cord. I'm just going to literally take a pair of long nose snips, pliers, is in there. That should come out because there was only a small piece in there. There it goes. <coughs> now, all you've got to do is wind that up about seven turns and then um when it's to its maximum you put a screwdriver in and that'll hold which is there that's maximum hold it down get a screwdriver a thin one preferably poke it in and that locks it off and get your new pull cord, which I think is going to be too thick. I really do. Just try and stretch it out a bit. Try and get rid of some of the slack in the rope. And then all you've got to do is line up the two holes, which is going to be right where I want it to be. Let's screw it over there because I want to. That... Oi! <laughs> Sorry, Riley. I want that back in a minute. 
line up the two holes which are going to be roughly about there put the screwdriver back in so that it doesn't um, come unwound so I'll put it somewhere else I'll put it just there that goes through the hole and then it goes through the other hole Daddy? yes buddy what did you do to do? say again mate what did you do to do? two stickers? yeah what two stickers mate? two four hang on mate and pull the pull cord out Daddy? yes mate we all want to go. Hey. We all want to go. Yeah, that's fine. Put him back on the toolbox for now. Oh, Trying to keep him occupied at the same time. This is a, this pull cord assembly is actually very sharp. I need to cut myself twice now. Just try and get hold of the pull cord string and push that pull that through. Put it all the way through. And then, because your screwdriver's in there, you can put that down now. See, it won't, it won't, um, won't wind it, unwind itself. Tie a knot in it. And because it's quite a thick cord, you should get a good knot on that. Pull that back. That sits in there lovely. And then take your screwdriver out. And that should now unwind back to where it wants to go. And that leaves you about a foot and a half on the top which should be enough for what I need to um, to pull the uh, pull cord up top near the headset. So that pull cord is now set. That rope is probably a little bit too thick, but I do have enough on there, so I, think, I reckon that'd be enough for now. We'll see how we get on. Right, with the uh, pull cord assembly off, I've been cleaned off. I've got another bit of hose here, which come off of a, an Atco, when I did an Atco mower. That should fit on there just about right. Because the old, the old fuel line was a little bit perished somebody else ringing me now it's like working in the shop today it sounds a bit like Riley boy uh, alright that's an SMS child same as Riley he's managed to get hold of his mum's phone and he's now video recording me which they do about regularly but normally about half past two in the morning they tend to do that so I'll leave that hanging for now new bit of hose to go on there this is a little upgrade it's got we can now put the um, pull cord assembly back on into its place. Line the HTV. Pull cord assembly is back on. Just putting the um, oil um, receiver in or filler, and that's a little tiny 8mm. Should probably be that one there. With a little collar on it. That's in. That's cool. Plenty of pull cord lamp on that rope, which I shall show you later on. Uh, we put a tank back on now, and this tank has now got um, a new uh, fuel pipe on it. So I'm going to take that back off of this end here because it's got fuel in it. So I want to be able to put that on the fuel tank side, very gently, because that's all plastic, I don't want to snap that. And then once that's done, I can then clamp off my fuel, there's the old fuel hose line, as you see it's where I've clamped it before, it's gone stiff, it's no good, so I can clamp that fuel off now. That can go on top. Pull cord comes out, and then I've got some eight mils here to put on, and also a ten mil at the back. Now the ten mil at the back has a little spacer, and the spacer is a bit fiddly to put on. You've got to put it through the bolt, and it all sits in together. The spacer goes in the middle of the bolt and the engine. Once you've got it halfway home. And get your D wall or whatever you use, your impact. I'll wind that home. That should have got it. Yeah, that's got it. 
Okay, and I'll just change over to my small my small arm and put the eight mil on just for ease. And you can put in the um, the eight mil bolts on here. One there. One goes in there. And then one at the back here as well. And that's that bit done. Next I want to hook up this fuel line. So just bring it over. What's a little bit of a drop in it. It wants to be snipped about there. Just marry it up roughly to where the other the other line is, where the carburetor is. And then that can go straight onto the uh, onto the carburetor. A pair of long nose snips would be good. All I'm doing now is just gonna put this pull cord on. Just gonna re-burn the end so I just cut it slightly because it's a bit too long. Seven and a half feet to seven feet is what you want for the um for it to go up the top of the handle up here. And the handle's different sizes, so just want to pull the dead man back, give it a half a turn, and it goes through the bottom bit here, through the top bit up here, like so. The cover goes on through this part here. Oh, it's burning again. It's just slightly too wide, this rope. I'm going to narrow it down just by burning it and just thin it out. That should go through now. There it goes. Push that through. A pair of forceps. Get hold of that. Pull that through. Off I can. Okay. I want to tie a knot in that. Pull it tight. That goes up. Kind of goes on. Let me find that all going. That's a pull cord assembly all now back on and done and dusted. All right, let's make a quick cup of coffee. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do the um, pull cord next, uh, the um, spark plug next. Where? Where? On the front of the lawnmower, buddy. It's got Where? a B2LM in it, but it doesn't look very, uh, very new. Oh, it really isn't too bad at all, actually. NGK one, but it's an older version. It's not, not got a blue writing on it. Let me get a new NGK in there. It's not too bad. It might do for a good spare. Uh, V2LM. Yep. And I've pre-gapped these already. I did them all when they came in. spray paint comes I can take it all apart I'm gonna do this this front section here just to bring it up and the, and the exhaust that's that done you want an air filter so I've got spares for yep dee, 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 dee. oh miss a bin and I want my air filter cover in there I want a bit of a clean before I do anything with it. Let me give it a clean up and I'll come back very quickly. That's a bit better. It was particularly dirty. Which is no good. So new air filter goes in. That goes into there, pushes in. I'll spill my coffee if I can help it. And all these things all help towards getting these lawnmowers to run right. 
a new air filter, new spark plug, oil change, fresh fuel, all helps. All right, happy with that. Um, well, I'm now tip it on its side. There's no oil in this machine. I'll tip it on its side, add the blade off, or at least inspect the blade, see what the blade looks like. But judging by the rest of the machine, it'll probably want a bit of a tiffle up anyway. So I'll tip the machine up, I'm gonna have the blade off, and then we'll see what it looks like. So I'm gonna put up in there, to give me a bit more, a bit more leverage on it. Is it gonna go, is it gonna spin? No, it's not gonna go. I don't want to come. I don't want to round it off. I can help it. I might just try and shock it first. I'm not quite sure what happened to my camera then. I got a feeling I bashed it with a hammer and it had a bit of a moment, so I'll have to see how it comes out. But I whacked it with the old hammer. I did give it some to be fair, and now it's starting to move. So, as I say, I'm not quite sure how much of that you got, but uh, it got quite a wallop off of me with my dizzy die hammer. But uh, it is now recording, and the screen went blank and everything, so I'm just flickering, so. Lesson learnt, I need to get myself a set of impact bits for this. Something just fell off of there, what was that? Something metallic, was it stone? Stone. That comes out. And the blade actually is not too bad. I've seen worse. Not a bad edge, just wants a bit of tidying up. So I'll do it now, I'll come back. All right, that's the blade now, fully resharpened. Front and back doled off as it should be. That one goes on there. That one goes through. And that sits in like a recess to keep it happy. It should, it should just sit on its own at some point. Uh, it's going to be that way up, up straight. Get it in. All right, Riley boy. Yeah. What are you up to? I'm bored. You're bored? Yeah. Why are you bored? I don't know. What have you been up to then? Um, what's that? There's a fuel line. Daddy's old fuel line took it off, off the mower. What are you doing? Putting a blade on. You working now? Eh? You working now? Yeah, uh, what's that? It won't be long, it's a roller. You working now? It won't be long, mate. We're nearly there. What's that, yeah? Okay, so blades done, air filter's done, pull cord's done, spark plug's done. Just got to do the oil and um, we're good to go. You done? Nearly, mate. Look at the funnel. Daddy? Yes, buddy. Where's oil? Oil is down there in that grey container. Can you pass uh -huh. it up, Daddy, for me? I will try. Yeah, it's a bit heavy, but bring it up here. You might daddy? be able to do it. Yes, buddy. Yeah, I talk. We spoke to Mike Hall, didn't we, yeah, on the phone today, yeah? Don't tell none of it. Alright, bit of a um, SAE30 going in. That should be enough for now, just to get a level. So once that's filled up, I'll come back to you, and then uh, hopefully we're in a position where we we'll maybe try and run this engine back up. Okay, so it's just ever so slightly over the mark, but by the time I run it up, I'm suspecting it to drop ever so slightly. So we'll go with that for now, and I should test it once I've run it up. Um, but I do want to check this um, throttle cable, actually, because that wasn't running as, as freely as I would like. I'm not really quite sure as to the reason why. Are you sure? Because it runs this end. I think the cable's actually has actually had it. So I might just literally take the cable out and Maybe. run a new bit of cable in 
I think the cable has had it. So let's do that. Let's take it off of here. Okay. A help. We'll help in a minute, buddy. Where? And take that off. Hang on, mate. Mm. That comes off. Oh, yay. Yeah, mine is off. Dad's got hot coffee there. I'll hold it here for him. I've got the other end up here. And I'll remove it off of the top end of this lawnmower. Mind yourself there, sweet up. Good boy. Why? I need to get up the top end of this lawnmower. Where are you, Daddy? I'm only here, buddy. I ain't gone nowhere. There's a little clip here somewhere where that clips on. Let me turn this lawnmower around so I can see what's going on. All right, I've got a little clip here with some description. Let's take this box off so I can see what's going on. A bit better. A bit better what we got. Goes down there. What we got here? Oh, it's a little clip around the back. So I want the K throttle cable off, which is this one. Just around the back here, just literally comes up around the top of the cable and just you pull it out the top of this um, little plastic clip here, self-explanatory. There's one there. There's one here as well. And that's a throttle cable now clear. Now technically, if I, yeah, that's now running and running quite freely. So I'm gonna put that back on. It seems a bit loose up this top end. I don't know if there's anything I can even tighten that up. I don't think there is. Okay. Oh, it's got a bit of a bit of a bend up the top end. So I'm gonna straighten that up. If I don't have to replace it, then I won't. Daddy? Yes, buddy. Okay, okay. Okay. But that's now running free, so it might be just where it's kinked around. If I can run it a bit straighter, I might try and run it actually. So it comes across. I can't because that that, um, that grass box comes out over top, doesn't it? So it's got to go there. But it is now running. So I'm going to shoot some WD-40 down it and some carb cleaner and get a bit of a happy birthday because it's now, it's now running quite freely. I just didn't like pushing against that carburetor. I might check the carburetor. I'll make sure that's greased up and free as well just to get a bit more, a bit more action to it. So all I'm going to do is put a cloth around the end of it and just literally shoot some carburetor spray down the hole. I can't get massive access, but shoot plenty of stuff in there and eventually it'll come out the bottom of the cable. It'll start to travel down that pipe. And the reason I haven't put any um, I caught a rag around it so I can now see if anything comes out the bottom of that cable that's because I put WD-40 in it. So I'll just keep putting WD-40 in it until I get liquid come out the bottom and that should wash out. There it goes now, just start to come out now. So a bit more squirt in there just to travel it down through and that'll help. I'll do that until uh, I'm convinced it's completely clean inside. Okay, that cable is now successfully cleaned. Just now literally want to clean up all this area here. I've got some spray grease, I might use that as well. I don't want to put too much in there because of that, um, the air filter. I don't want to go too mad with that initially. I don't want to soak the air filter with WD-40. That won't do we new air filter or any favours, will it? Let's take that out. And it is literally just a question of getting underneath all the pivot points. Just to give that a bit of a chance. You can't adjust it in that way, but there's lots of dirt and grime in there. I dare say it's a bit bent as well, which isn't helping. So that's a bit freely now, it's run a bit more freely now, so happy with that. There's not too much WD-40 in there to affect the filter. So happy with that. And now I'm going to refit this cable back on and see if that makes any difference at all to the operation of this, how this cable works and try and find out where the cable sits best for it to a uh, to operate so if I literally get the cable and bring it round 
to where it needs to be. Hook it on. And then just refit the um the little clip. Yes, buddy. No, I'm not finished yet, mate. I've got a bit more to do yet, buddy, I'm afraid. I'm nearly done. Yes, mate. Uh can't face the mighty tall yet, mate. She's probably busy. She's probably busy, buddy. Where? I don't know where she's busy, but she's probably busy. We'll give her a ring a bit later on, shall we? Daddy. Riley boy loves his auntie tall. Daddy? Yeah. I'll clean it up. You can clean up, clean up in a minute, mate. Yeah, when we're done, you can clean up. I do it all myself. You can do it all by yourself. Right, so I'm happy with um, how, that's, how that's working. Uh, let's see if that now will operate. No, it doesn't. So it's kinking somewhere. It's flexing within the cable. So the entire cable is actually gone. That's a terrible shame. It's at this top end. I can feel it flexing in the armour. It will go if you force it, but now the cable's gone. Let me see I've got a spare cable for it. Right, I think I've got a cable. Uh, it wants a bit of work. What I'm going to try first of all, before I do anything, is try and put this armour piece on the end here. Now, it will need adjustment. Just to make sure it's not pinching on that cable itself before I do anything. I doubt it'll push down on me too well. Just want to see if it's, if that, if it's that that's interfering with it. It shouldn't do. So what it's actually doing is up here, when I adjust the throttle, I can feel the, um, the coils inside the cable flexing, and it should all be in one, and it's not doing what it should be doing. And it should run relatively free, there's not, there's not a lot of pressure there for it to, to have any problems, and it's not running right. So I'm going to disconnect it, and I've got one here, which I'm hoping is going to be long enough. Right, that cable's now off, and I've managed to retain the piece that I needed to keep. <clears throat> and that's going to go onto there. Hopefully I can thread it through without having to bend it too much out of shape. Push it onto there, press it onto there, and then um, that bit then can be fitted to this to this lawnmower. I might just, just put a bit of a straightener in it, just to get it to a uh, to get to where I want it to be. But it want to twist on me, and guarantee that. Oh, wrong way around. There it goes. That goes on. I'm gonna put out in a vice, push that down, twist it on, and then with a pair of crimpers, recrimp that back on into position. Right, that's gone on the vice and just been squished, and it still runs absolutely lovely, even just with my hand. So I'm gonna put a bend back into there, which is how it was before. Just make that a bit more um, fierce. Might be done with a pair of long nose pliers. Just grab it about there, bend it back, and then tip that one forward. And that should be enough just to grab that um, that throttle cable, a uh, throttle arm on the other side. Let me try and refit it. That's better, that's much better. Oh, I've got to push this into here now. So I just want to open that up with a screwdriver. Not a large screwdriver if possible. So I'll open it up without it snapping, it'll be good. Like so. And then get a pair of big pliers or grips. Be even better. And now I'm going to close that back up. So we've got no chance of that cable coming back out. That's it. And that now runs. As it should do. Right, down the bottom side and try and fit it to the carburetor.
So I put it in, I just put it around this side here quickly and then uh, push it round. So now, if I put that clamp on, I'm hoping to just fix it, it'd be cool if it has. There's just enough cable there, I think, to do this. It's like it was meant to be. I spent quite a bit of time on this cable so far, so. Doesn't seem to want to be cramping, clamping down where it wants to. Doesn't seem to be sitting right. And we don't want to pinch it too much because uh, do it nice better. Right, so that's got that. Now let's try and adjust the throttle. There you go. It's running so much better. So happy with that. Right, just got to hook these cables back on, and then I think we'll take it out, put the cover back on, take it out, and give it a test run. Right, here we go. We've got the Atco, whatever it is, Admiral. It's all done. Mrs. P and Nana are over the other side there. They're sunbathing, busy as usual. Here's me working, as always. Right, let's give some fire up, see how we get on. Full service done. I haven't tried to start it yet, so I put it onto Rabbit, which is a fast one, if I got it set right. Give it three or four pumps of that. And let's see what happens. really low that's all I'm saying it cuts really low <laughs> it cuts really low doesn't it just checking for fuel leaks anything like that she hasn't got any don't think no let's get one more fire up done okay so that's that little atco admiral now all up and running as it should be and proper the throttle um, cable worked it's not brilliant they're a bit gimmicky but uh, it does work all the same um, it's had a full service to include spark plug air filter all change pull cord blade sharp and balance all that sort of good stuff a general tidy up and a good check over and it's uh, pretty good that lawnmower i picked up for um just over 20 quid and should fetch a nice sort of tidy profit because it has a rear roller on the back Yes, right, boys. What's your name? Should we do orange drink or fruit shoot? Fruit shoot. I'm out of coffee. Yeah, I've run out. Um, so yeah, twenty pound, and uh, that should um, should turn a nice little profit. Hopefully, that'd be good for that. So that's all we have um, time for today. I've got another lawnmower which I'm doing, but I'm waiting Daddy. on spare parts. Yes, orange. Oh, orange one. You, you're gonna wait the bed. Um, I'm waiting on spare parts uh, for that to come in um, before I progress any further with that one. So on a completely different note, today is Saturday, the Saturday, what's the date today, Riley boy? The 20th. Um, tomorrow at 2 p.m. Um, we are, we'll be going live, doing a live stream. Um, Roy's a boy is going to be um, conducting it and taking like charge time. of it. Uh, yeah, like FaceTime, yeah, a bit like FaceTime. And um, I should be on the panel and we're also going to be having a surprise uh, person Bye. on the panel as well which would be quite good so um, if you can um, keep an eye out for that that would be good 
Um, me and Roy are trying to push for a bigger presence of uh, the YouTube community where we can uh, with regards to small engine stuff. Um, so at two o'clock um, tomorrow, Sunday the 21st, yep, 21st, um, roughly with that sort of time, we'll be going live. Me, Roy's a boy and one other person, but you'll need to log in to uh, our live stream, tick the bell notifications on either myself or Roy, in, in especially okay. Roy. Um, okay. we sh we'll try and share it where we can so you can you can uh, join the, the FaceTime um, live stream and uh, it should be good. Um, have a good little natter as always and um, we're trying out a new software because the Hangouts is going from the YouTube side of it as of the 1st of August so we're trying another different live stream um, software. That's the reason for it. So thank you very much from myself, little Riley boy, Nana and Mrs P who are still out sunbathing in the no, garden. No, 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 mommy. Well you call her mummy, I'll call her Mrs P. Stop picking your nose. It's your mummy. Um, stop picking your nose. <laughs> stop Sorry. picking your nose, your head are caving. Um, so thank you very much for watching this episode of Mixed Mowers with myself and little Riley boy who's trying to pick his nose. Um, don't forget any comments you've got. Will you stop? Any, any comments you've got? Yes. Any comments you've got? Um, ready to put comments? Yeah. Down below. Positive or negative? We don't really mind. Hit the and bell. Hit the old bell. Would be fantastic. And tap the old subscribe button if you want to do so. That'd be very good. But until next time, don't forget, people. Don't forget. Take it easy. Would you? Ah, bitch.